Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Resha from Peridol Makeup. In my last video I spoke about the basics of makeup, staying away from eye makeup. And in today's video I'd like to stick to the basics but showing you how easy eyeshadow application can actually be. If this sounds like something that interests you then please keep watching, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos which are full of handy tips for makeup that works in the real world, not just behind the lens. I'll be showing you two eyeshadow techniques using two different products. The first one will be using the traditional eyeshadow, which is the powdery eyeshadow, and the other technique will be using a creamy shadow. Creamy eyeshadows come either in a creamy eyeshadow pot or they come in a shade stick, which looks like a crayon basically. I'll start off with the traditional eyeshadow. So what you'll need is some makeup brushes and the products. For the traditional eyeshadow application, I'll be using my Zoeva Coco Blend eyeshadow palette. And I'll be going in with quite a dark color so that the camera can pick it up basically, which is this one here. And I'm going in with a brush that is quite dense, not too fluffy, because the fluffy ones are perfect for blending. This one is great for accumulating the product basically on the eyelid. So I'm dipping that into the eyeshadow, tapping off the excess, and then I'm gonna start by pressing the product onto the mobile eyelid. The mobile eyelid is the part that blinks. Starting off with the outside and gently pressing it in. Focusing on the outer corners. Because I'm using a really dark color, I'm going to st stay away from the inner corner because it will make my eyes look really dark, it'll enhance my dark circles and it'll make my eyes look smaller. So if you're using a dark eyeshadow, stay away from the inner corners. Always focus the darkest part on the outer side. And I'm just pressing it in, bringing it all the way down to the lash line. And whatever is left on the brush, I'll bring it inwards just so it doesn't look like it's disconnected. Okay, doesn't have to be neat at all because we'll be blending it in a second. Now I'll come in with a blending brush. Blending brushes have longer hairs and are more loosely apart so they're not as dense like the other brush. Without putting any product on my brush I'm simply using that one shade that I applied and I'm blending it. So starting off I guess with what you can call a windscreen wipe, a lot of people call it that, which is basically holding the brush at the end rather than the tip. If you hold it at the tip, you'll get a really heavy application. If you want a fine, thin application or blending application, then you hold it further apart. And sliding it left to right where my eye creases, so that where the eye socket starts, without taking it all the way up to the eyebrows, that's a really 1980s look if you take it all the way up to the eyebrows and it really makes the whole eye lid look really dark and then that part here do circle motions and then blend it up and out blending it <laughs> blending it up and out will create that lift for you this eyeshadow application suits any eye shape and any age i'm, I'm going to apply the same eyeshadow on my just underneath my lower lashes but because I'm using quite a dark color I won't be bringing it in all the way forward because again that will make my eye look smaller so instead I'm just focusing on the outer corner and I'm using a smaller brush by the way just blending it really gently bringing it about approximately to the center of my eye if you have hooded eyes start like one third out and then bring it up just so that it connects so that we don't have anything disconnected basically. The next step is optional and that is to line the lashes. So instead of creating a winged eyeliner or any precise eyeliner you can actually enhance your lashes and make your eyes look bigger by smudging on a darker shade. So I'm going in with a gel liner if you want to use a pencil you can by all means. If you're a beginner then I would definitely recommend you stay away from liquid eyeliners. It's particularly for this kind of application because you won't be able to blend in the liquid eyeliner. So I'm going in with the gel liner. I've put some on the tip of this thin brush, thin flat brush. 
and I'm applying it really roughly nothing too neat along the lash line and again we're staying away from the inner corner I'm bringing it up and out instead of following my eye shape which goes down I stop like a millimeter away one or two millimeters away so that I can take it up and out again this will make your eyes look longer and wider and it also gives you that lift I kept it really soft but you see it still outlines the lash line and makes the eyes look bigger the next step is also optional which is applying eye pencil, cold pencil or gel liner in the waterline if you outline only your upper lashes then again it gives you that density and outlines your eye naturally making it look like you're wearing eyeliner and then I'm just taking that edge part and lifting it up like I showed you in my previous video and then you just go in with mascara in my previous video I showed you a application method for mascara which is basically bringing the wand to the base of your lashes wiggling it and lifting it up if you feel a little bit more confident and you have long enough lashes you can bring the mascara wand down from the top of your lashes and give it a twirl so basically you put it on and then you twist it forward twist the wand forward and then you go in from the bottom up bottom up and you know me I like putting mascara on my lower lashes as well and that's how simple eyeshadow can be the next technique is using the creamy shadows so like I said they come in a pot like this or they come in a crayon like this one today I'll be using the crayon because it's nice and creamy it's pliable you can you can blend it out really easily as well so make sure it's nice and sharp it's got this tip you can't sharpen it as much as you can with eye pencils but still nonetheless and then all you do is just roughly really roughly don't need to be neat at all apply it on your mobile eyelid again staying away from the inner corner because I'm using a dark color and kind of like this. Now, I'm also keeping away from the eye socket which is where my eye creases so I'm not taking it all the way up there because I'll be blending it in now. So now I'm going to use the a brush like what I used for the, the powdery eyeshadow and I'm going to spread out basically that crayon now you can also use your finger, your ring finger is very effective for that because like I said it's nice and creamy and it really moves around really easily and just blending it out make sure you take it all the way down to your lash line and now you come in with the blending brush a clean blending brush that has no product on whatsoever and you bring it up and out and then you take it up a little bit towards the eye socket for my lower lashes I like to go in with a flat thin brush and taking the product up off the tip of the shade stick and apply that right under the lower lashes again I'm staying away from the inner corners and it's really only just so that everything connects together since I used a shade stick on that eye I'm going to use a pencil to outline my lash line and again it doesn't have to be neat at all just really rough because I'll be going in with a brush to soften it up and blend it out stay away from the inner corners please and again I didn't take it all the way down to where my lashes end which is down there and instead I stopped it just there I'm going in with that flat brush that I used to put the brown crayon under my eyes and I'm going to blend it 
just to soften it up because we're not doing a cut eye look or a winged eyeliner we're simply enhancing our lash line and our eyes and for the waterline I'll be using a pencil as well because why not and again I'm going to coat my upper line. When you line the upper waterline you can actually bring the pencil all the way down to the inner corners of the eye. And again I'll go in with a coat of mascara. And there you have it, two very simple eyeshadow techniques which are price effective and time effective as well. I hope you'll give this a try. Please let me know how you go in the comments below. Feel free to contact me anytime. If you found this helpful, please make sure you give me the thumbs up, you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.